right there. You're okay here. Bringing you another episode of My Humble Opinion where I break down my view of the Humble Choice monthly bundle and the games they're in. I've got two more to do. This is the penultimate one. And it's uh, Turn It Boy Commit Tax Evasion. I have no idea, but that's a bloody funny title. Let's go have a look. Looks like it might just be keyboard only. Uh, is it? How do you select? All right. Oh, Z is selected. This is at the bottom. What am I doing? Tax bill. You are a ton of property tax for your greenhouse. You have until yesterday to pay it. We've all had that one, haven't we? Might not be from taxes, but we've all had that bill. Failure to pay will give over. It will give Mayor Onion the deed to your house. Total order: one hundred forty-three thousand seven hundred fifty-three. That's a bit deep. That you might want to try Squid Game. Sincerely, the government. Rip it up. I don't know. Oi, turn it, boy. You nearly screwed yourself. Huh? What do you mean, what? You committed tax evasion. Huh? Yes, tax evasion is a real thing. Anyways, let's just turn that. Ah, I think you're okay with volume. Looks like it's bounced okay. Uh, anyways, you owe me a lot of money. You obviously have none, so consider yourself my personal assistant. I don't think that's how that works. First, head over to the bustling barn through Lair Lane. I'm trying to set up a town hall there, but there's a bunch of animals I need someone to take care of. Uh, bring me back a bag of fertilizer as proof. Oh, you'll be sleeping with the rotten. All right, so I'm not sure where we're going. Oh, hang on, what's this? Well, oh, oh, all right. Huh? Have you met my little cat, Apple Munchkins? Aren't they sort of woe? Actually, my little red munchkin ran away. If you go keep an eye out for it, that would be perfect. Okay, so we're getting these little quests. Mega meow. Oh, oh, oh. Alright, so it's just running through the same one. Okay. Micro meow. We can't go around there. Ever since that freaking Mayor Onion took over this town, uh, took over this town has been a mess. I mean, look at this patch, it's absolutely overgrown. Like, you would need a hacking sword to get through this mess. I hear you can get one in the weapon woods, though. Okay. Grim Graveyard, Lay Lane. Uh, weapon woods. You can go west. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't get through that. What do you want, kid? Listen, I'm getting to ro ready to rob this rotten graveyard. I need complete focus. You really want to tell me that? And you seem like the annoying type. Get on my sight, kid. Okay, well. That's the thing. If we go up there, Weapon Woods. Watch out for the snails, they're vegetarians. Oh, I was going to say that's not a problem, then I realised. I'm turning, boy. That's a huge problem. What are you doing? Bro, you ain't going to believe this. What? Jerry has been crashing at my place for a week and he hasn't paid a cent of rent. We're on good terms, bro, but I don't speak much snail. I don't really know what to do about it, bro. Okay, so this is very much a narrative game. How about you? 
Hey, it's in it, boy. I've been travelling around the farmland, exploring the forest around it, and I found something cool. Up ahead is a rare Planticus Sordicus. I have. Uh, if you have a second, check it out. I will do. Thirsty plant patch. Someone please water this boy. Okay, not sure what I'm meant to do here. But I don't have any way of watering him. Maybe that's what I've got to do, watering him, but I don't have a way of doing that right now. We can't go through there, we can go through here. Kiting masks. <laughs> What's up, dude? Got any spray paint? Hmm? I'm itching to vandalise public public property. Yeah, feel. Can't get through there. Can't get through there. If I go here, can I? No, I can't get through. Now I can go up here. Wanted for tax evasion, send it boy. Yeah, you don't want to know about that. I don't know how to open things. What's this guy doing? Oh heck! Huh? I lost a baby. Oh sh! I was told to baby. Oh, I thought it meant he had a miscarriage. I was carried. I sat over him with this stool. He escaped my sight. Hmm? Maybe the stool needs to sit on me. Either way, can you keep your eye holes peeled? I swear that's how the phrase goes. All right then. There must be some way of opening things. I'm not sure what the commands are though. Uh. Let's have a look. Yeah, left, right, etc. Use his X. Swap his C. Alright. So I think X might be useful here. Maybe not. Not sure what to do there then. Strawberry down the street. She's so nice. Say, could you water this plant for me? Ow. Ran out of water and want to give this special flower to that special strawberry. Ow, do I use X? What commands am I meant to use? Let me have another look. Quick swap left A and S. I know. C. I don't get how to water it. Oh, there's a watering can! There's a watering can! Use this to grow plants. Used to be old man lemons. Okie dokie. Yeah, I can do that for you, mate. Whoa, I found this flower. A token of affection from the florist to the strawberry. Thanks for growing that flower. Make sure to bring it over to that special strawberry. No one of these other folks getting the wrong idea. 
That's strawberry. Uh, turnip boy, thanks for the flower. I don't feel the same, I'm sorry. It's not from you. Oh, thanks for mushrooms. The florist sent this. How sweet of her. Do you think you can take this letter over to me? Yeah, absolutely. Dear florist, thank you for the pretty flower. Would you like to go on a date? Someday we could even get married and pay our taxes together. <laughs> I think you're having a go at me. We're not doing that. Well, that was rude. Yeah, I suppose it was. Oh, you delivered it, sweet. Thanks a lot. Take this payment. Sun hat, the arch nemesis of the sun. Okay. You can view and equip all your hats in the pause menu. Okay. I got the sun hat on at the moment. Let's see if we can go do that sword plant, shall we? Was it up here? No, it was down there, wasn't it? Down we go. Soil sword, it's dangerous to grow alone. Take this. So does that let me kill snails? Yep, it does. Preferably without me actually running into them, of course. It lets me kill snails. Oh yeah. Can I actually... Oh, I can cut through things as well! Around farmland, exploring forest, and I found something cool. Yeah, I got it. I got it, mate. I got it. It's fine. What about this? Nope. Can't get through them. What's this? Uh, I forget. All right. So if we see a little baby carrot. That's fine. anything with that. What if I see if I X that? Nope. Alright. We got we got cash. Rain money! Jerry was going to pay his rent, was he? Alright, well that's nice. Bro, why did you kill Jerry? He was defenceless, why? Oh wait, you had to rent money? Cool beans. <laughs> it's, this is Squid Game. He's objecting to people being killed until he realises he's getting money from the dead. Bro, since he's uh, dead, take, it, take his cheque for the remainder. I need that cash. Jerry Snail. Can I not? I gotta rip it up, don't I? Oh, snails are weird, huh? I did buy some chips of that cash though, they're pretty good, not gonna lie. Alright, so we got that. Alright, I died. That's fine. I'm okay to leave it there. Hmm. I haven't played a game like this in donkey's years. I like it. 
I like it. And it's very narrative for me. It's, it's narrative adventure. Okay. The graphics are cute. I mean, they're very pixelated. That's fine. Um, the stories are silly uh, and short by the look of it. It's very much a childish game, but that's fine. There's nothing wrong with... I mean, I know Kipling said there comes a time to put away childish things. To me, yeah, when you're dead. Um... This might surprise you. This might surprise you. This one gave me enough of a breath of fresh air. I really did. I haven't played anything like this in donkey's years. I don't know it's going to go a long time. I don't know if anyone wants to watch it. But here's the thing. I've finished 11.11. I need a new Tales Over Coffee. For um, Yorkie the Tail Spinner. This is narrative adventure. It's not quite the normal thing for Tales Over Coffee, but it works. So let me answer my four questions. One, is it worth a dollar to two dollars? For me, this absolutely is. Uh, you know, it pays for its slot in the thing. Um, it's cute. It's amusing. It's it's not deep. It's a relaxation game. Very much so far. Uh, I mean, all right, I just died because I was stupid. But yeah, it pays for its slot. Is it worth 12 to 20 dollars? For me, very tentatively, yes. Very tentatively, yes. Um, I don't know how good it's going to be in uh, long term, but it really gave me a, a, a breath of fresh air. It's not like anything I've played in a long, long time. I'm sure there's superior versions of it, but it's worth a budget game price. Uh, feel free to disagree. Will it come to the channel? Because I want it to. Didn't I just say I need a new Tales Over Coffee? This is coming as a let's try, not a definite let's play. Um, I might play it for a, for one or two times and think, this don't work. But right now, I want to see more of this. So this is going to be the new Tales Over Coffee. Do you need to ask for it? Nah, I'm just going to bring it on. And we'll see how it goes. So for me, this one, and it might be different from you, I can see it's not going to be everyone's style at all. It's very childish, very cutesy, um, and not very deep by the look of it. But as a relaxation game for me, this one wins. Just because it's such a breath of fresh air for me. So, that's my, te uh, that's my um, first time over the last couple of months that I'm definitely bringing a Humble Bundle game to the channel. Um... This wins. All right, I'll be back with another. Um, and I keep wanting to say tales of a coffee. Humble opinion, with the last one, which I believe is uh, Wrath Eon or something like that. Um, in a couple of days, before the end of the month, anyway. So, I've been Yorkie. You've been fantastic. Joe has been sleeping, and this has been really interesting. I'll see you next time. See you then on. <laughs>